Shadows from the Walls of Death Today on Echoes Through Time channel, we'll take a journey to the Victorian era. A key element in the decoration of Victorian homes for middle and upper classes was the wallpaper that adorned their walls. Papers coated with delicate floral motifs, especially those in shades of green, were all the rage in mid-19th century America. To achieve vivid colors for these decorative papers, manufacturers turned to a dangerous chemical element, arsenic. Many were unaware that ingestion wasn't necessary for it to be lethal. It could also be harmful if its particles were inhaled or absorbed through the skin. In order to protect citizens from this home killer, American chemistry professor Robert M. Kedzie published a book in 1870 for warning of its dangers. In the book Shadows from the Walls of Death, he explained why it was necessary to avoid these wallpapers and included 80 for samples of them, paradoxically making the book a danger to its readers. Those who read it and turned the pages containing the wallpaper samples came into contact with the arsenic they contained, which could have fatal consequences. When this detail became evident to prevent inadvertent poisonings, most of the 100 copies of the book published and distributed in libraries across the United States were destroyed. Currently, only four copies remain in existence, and for those who wish to consult it without any risk, the United States National Library of Medicine has just digitized a copy. In the 19th century, there was an increase in the industrial use of arsenic, which had long been used as both medicine and poison. The dye agents containing arsenic were cheap to produce and capable of creating intense shades. Two of these shades were Shields Green and Paris Green, very popular in those days. This color was used in fabrics, furniture, toys, and other objects. But it was its extensive use in wallpapers that alarmed doctors who noticed an increase in diseases linked to arsenic exposure. The most common symptoms were nausea, vomiting, colic, diarrhea, skin irritation, and joint pains. These symptoms disappeared once the source of origin, that is, contact with the harmful pigments, was eliminated. The elimination of arsenic in pigment manufacturing didn't happen overnight. Although warnings had already been recorded about its effects on human health, its impact was difficult to verify. On one hand, the symptoms it caused resembled those of other diseases, such as cholera or dysentery, and, on the other hand, susceptibility to exposure to wallpaper, made with arsenic varied greatly from person to person. Finally, thanks to a series of education campaigns and possibly also due to the publication of Kedzie's book, arsenic ceased to be used, and wallpaper manufacturers were forced to resort to other pigments, 